Since 1967, Golden West College faculty have educated thousands of students and watched them move on to pursue their dreams. In 1992, as part of the Golden West College 25th anniversary celebration, the Alumni Pillar of Achievement Award was established by the Golden West College Foundation. This award has become a tradition recognizing outstanding alumni accomplishments. Four alumni recently received this distinguished award. Let's hear what they have to say about Golden West College and their reflections of success. Ron Lowenberg received his Associate of Arts degree in Criminal Justice from Golden West College. He's been the Chief of Police in the City of Cyprus and was named Outstanding Police Chief of California by the Law Enforcement Management Center in 1985. He's been married for 27 years and is the father of six children. Today, Ron Lowenberg is the Chief of Police in the City of Huntington Beach. I've had the opportunity to uh, view Golden West College from maybe a little bit different and unique perspective um, as a student, um, as a law enforcement professional, uh, as an instructor, uh, as, a, as Hugh mentioned, a member of the Criminal Justice Training Center Advisory Committee, um, as an employer here in the community, and uh, last but not least, as a police chief. And I've had this opportunity over the last uh, 20 plus years. Uh, you know, it's really important, it seems to me, that uh, we recognize the importance of training and educating uh, the individuals who are presently involved in the community college curriculum and certainly the people um, that uh, we um, uh, presently have in our workforce and the folks that, that uh, will be the future of uh, our chosen career fields and, and members of our community. You know, I can't emphasize enough, and I know you folks already know this, but I wanted to take this opportunity to mention this, we can't emphasize enough the importance of formal education um, for our young people and the members of our community, especially in light of how complex our society is becoming. Uh, certainly in my career field, um, we see an increase in violence in our community. Uh, we see an increase of uh, concern about the changing uh, diversity and, and cultural and ethnic uh, makeup of our communities. Um, in, in our community work, it's very, very important uh, through education and through personal experience that we do our part to make the community um, a more pleasant place to live and a secure place to live. And uh, the community college is part of that. And I think that partnership, if you will, that we enjoy between, in my case, local law enforcement, uh, police services, and in this case, the community college here at Golden West College is so, so very important. Um, certainly, Golden West College gave me the opportunity and gave me the foundation necessary to meet the challenges of my career field. Uh, certainly, my career field uh, offers many challenges, um, very many, very difficult challenges, but there's also an awful lot of rewards in my career field. And again, I wanted to thank Golden West College for helping me get um, kind of uh, set in the right direction, at least from an educational perspective, uh, to prepare me for the leadership role that I've accepted, um, and, and especially in my present role as, as police chief here in the city of Huntington Beach. Dr. Sam Nguyen is a research chemist at Syntex Chemicals in Colorado, where he works to create anti-cancer compounds, anti-arthritic agents, and drugs for the prevention of strokes and AIDS-related illnesses. He received his associate in science degree from Golden West College in 1978, when he also was captain of the men's soccer team that garnered the community college state championship. Dr. Nguyen was born in South Vietnam. Our, our site of particular incidents, which was, I think it's one of the turning points of uh, my life. And it was a period of time in my sophomore year uh, when I was taking uh, organic chemistry. Um, midterm, we were having um, midterms getting ready for finals. And then, of course, we were in the uh, finals of the uh, state championship for Golden West College in the soccer field. And uh, I came into uh, Coach Gika's office one day and I said, you know, Coach, 
what I'm doing right now is I'm taking chemistry, I'm taking physics, I'm taking calculus, I'm taking biology. I'm assisting in Dr. Bernard's classes in terms of developing new um, s synthetic laboratory experiments for the uh, uh, students there. And I barely have any time for anything else. So one of the things that's important to me is an education. So I, I uh, told a uh, coach that I was thinking of perhaps uh, uh, quitting the soccer team. At the time, though, I was uh, my second year of, the, uh, of uh, playing. And uh, I was also the captain of the uh, team. And after we had a long and, I would say, semi teary discussion, um, Coach Geek had gave me some recommendation, told me some things about life, and uh, basically changed my mind. He uh, explained to me that there are certain times in life that um, things become quite tough. And the best and the uh, people who persevere most in life are the ones that maintain a straight path. And so uh, based on that, um, I decided to uh, remain with the team. And as you know, we, we went ahead and won the state championship for uh, Golden West Community College, which to me was a very fine thing for the team and uh, Coach Gika. In any case, uh, since then, I uh, had a better understanding of, of the challenges that one faces, not just for myself, but I appreciate when I see others meeting these type of challenges and uh, falling back on some of the uh, things that Coach Gika has told me has made me a much stronger person. And since I've graduated and gone on, Whenever I had the opportunity to teach or coach, I base a lot of my knowledge and experience on the things that Coach Gika has told me. And uh, hopefully some of those things has been passed on to my students and some of the players that I've coached. Dr. Enriqueta Lopez Ramos was the first Chicana in Orange County history to be elected to a community college governing board. She's a professor of Spanish and Chicano studies at Cypress College and a member of the Rancho Santiago Community College District Board of Trustees. A one-time high school dropout, this dynamic educator has taught classes from first grade to graduate courses. She received her AA from Golden West College in 1966. I had probably some of the very best teachers I have ever found anywhere. The big problem was that every time I took a course, I ended up taking the following course. So when they tried to do an evaluation, they said, well, you have seven minors, but uh, you don't have any majors. Um, so quickly, I had to decide on what my major was going to be. And uh, we decided on English and Spanish because I had in enough cor uh, coursework in both. My English teachers were so inspiring that I did go on and major in English. And I remember when I was one of the only old women around. It was a time before women lived and we, before it was acceptable to have older women in classes. And I remember one teacher saying, you know, you've got to be a teacher. And um, this is where I decided what I wanted to be when I grew up. Well, I haven't grown up yet, but I, I am a teacher, and I love teaching. Brenda Primo is an impassioned advocate for disabled rights. She came to Golden West College in 1970 because she was challenged to do so. She continued her education through graduate school and earned an MBA degree from Pepperdine University. She became the first executive director of the Dale McIntosh Center for the Disabled and was appointed by President Reagan in 1986 to the National Council on Disability. Today, she's the director of the California Department of Rehabilitation Independent Living Division. I thought I want to begin with an idea that I wouldn't be here today if I hadn't been here in the early 70s. The Golden West College was, in fact, one of the main reasons that I succeeded. And without Golden West College, 
I wouldn't have. The time I graduated from high school, which was Marina High School in Huntington Beach, both of which were very new then. Of course, I haven't gotten older, but somehow this has grown. Um, it used to be much smaller. You could find your way around really easily. There was only six buildings. This was a brand new campus, and the school was, was brand new, and the concepts of community colleges were growing. And at that time, I didn't believe, and there was a belief among many people, that people with disabilities' brains happened to be wherever the disability was, their arms, their legs, their eyes, their ears. So I didn't think I could do it. Well, I came to Golden West and took some classes and got so caught up in the concepts that I was learning that I forgot I couldn't learn them. I began to understand that no, my, my brains weren't in my eyeballs and the people I met, the deaf students, students who were visually impaired, other students who happened to be using other types of mobility, their brains weren't in their legs or ears either. And from that I learned that there was a potential as a person to be able to achieve based on your ability. Golden West is a valuable resource for all of its students. It's a place where people come people of all, both genders, people of all ethnicities, and people with disabilities to enter the world of learning, to experience their own capacities. And I hope that in the future, other people who will in the future be able to give their skills and talents to the community who happen to be, dis be disabled will be on that pillar. Because even in times of economic hardship, this college will show the long-term view that it has historically shown to continue the services that people need, whether they be foreign students or disabled students, to have what they need and support services so that they too can show up on that pillar years later because they gain the skills to use their talents to work with the community. As we have seen, the Pillar of Achievement alumni are reflections of success, providing an inspiration to students and a tribute to Golden West College faculty and staff.